the IT industry of India is world-renowned world for its very large scale and not just in size but in deep expertise of computer science. Uh, very few com countries in the world has this natural resource, this amazing natural resource called IT and computer science expertise. In the last couple of years, we've been working together to upskill, and we've now upskilled about 200,000 IT professionals into the world of AI. You know, what, what do we have to do together, and how can we work together to help transform India at the speed of light, really, because everything is moving so fast, to, 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 to transform India into a center, not of just IT, but a center of AI. So from my point of view, uh, Jensen, let me tell you my own uh, experience uh, in India. First, right, as our Prime Minister has said that this is a new aspirational India. What we have today is we are among the only country in the world where the average age of 1.4 billion Indians is below 35. So what is driving our economy is not only new technologies like AI, but also aspirations. And I believe that uh, you know the Prime Minister, and I believe that his leadership in terms of converting India to a premier digital society has been vital and continues to drive activity at the ground level. So it's demography, it's leadership. The third factor is that we as Indians have the raw talent. You talked about converting 200,000 people into this, but I believe there are millions, right? If we now see India has become home, right, among all the companies across the world, we are our fastest in growing industry is global competency centers. So we do space research in India. We do pharmaceutical research in India. I'm sure that uh, quantum, you are quantum thinking computing. of building chips yep. in India. That's right. We are in our own energy industry. We do bioenergy industry. Mm -hmm. All the energy major, Shell, BP, right? actually do their innovation in India. Mm -hmm. So India is fast becoming an innovation hub for the world in terms of where we are and not the manufacturing hub. The thing that, that I really love, and um, uh, when I met Modi ji, the first time he asked me to meet his cabinet uh, was to, this, this has got to be about six years ago, he asked me, to address this cabinet about artificial intelligence. And I was so surprised it was the, literally the first time any government leader, uh, any national leaders asked me to address uh, his cabinet on um, uh, this particular topic. It was long before anybody was talking about artificial intelligence. And my last visit with him, he said, he said this, and it was really quite profound. He said, I, I was explaining to him uh, the concept of uh, AI infrastructure and why it's essential for every nation to have their own AI infrastructure, like their own communication, their internet infrastructure, their roads, uh, elect energy, of course, and of course, intelligence should be part of your infrastructure, and the manufacturing of intelligence should be part of your infrastructure. And, and he said this, he said, he said, it makes completely, complete sense that India should manufacture its own AI, manufacture your own AI. You should not outsource, you should not export data to import intelligence. That India should not export data to import intelligence. And he said. Absolutely. And, and Mo Modiji said, it's like India should not just export flour to import bread. We should add value to the data ourselves. And, and, uh, and the partnership uh, that we have is to start that journey, to build the underlying infrastructure so that India could have your own infrastructure. You surely have your own computer science expertise. 
and you also have your data, you have a giant population of users uh, to, to drive that flywheel. And then one, one more comment. Uh, this is the thing that, that, that he, was, he was most inspired by uh, six years ago. He said, he said that artificial intelligence has the ability to elevate um, the entire population of India. And the reason for that, I was talking earlier to him about the fact that there are so few people in the world who knows how to program a computer. Programming is not easy. Uh, here uh, in India, it's the largest population of any pro of programmers in the world. However, still programming is not easy. Most people don't know how to program Python or C++ or you know, Pascal or Fortran but, or Java, but everyone knows how to program an intelligence. And so the ability to program computers is available to a small population, but the ability to program AI is something that everyone can do. And if, if AI could be put into the hands of every citizen, it would elevate and put into the hands of everyone this incredible capability you and I get the benefit from called computers. And this computer could now benefit everybody in society. And, and that, he, he explained that back to me. Yeah. Absolutely, and I think that that is why I started by saying that we are very fortunate to have a visionary leader yeah. who believes not only in vision but in execution. 